Hey guys, in this video I want to introduce you to Envision, which is uh, one of my favorite uh, prototyping and collaboration softwares which uh, I use all the time with my design clients and also personal projects. So as you can see, uh, we just created a new Envision account uh, and uh, the first thing that uh, you're gonna see is uh, the call to action to create uh, a first uh, project which you can do by either clicking on here or on the red plus uh, over here. However, we're gonna do something different, which is um, um, I just opened this uh, sketch file and uh, I installed the craft plugin, which uh, I, in my opinion is the best way in order to sync projects to Envision in the fastest and most efficient way, because uh, by doing so, you can simply select uh, uh, a couple of artboards or all of the artboards. So in this case, I'm gonna select these uh, top three artboards. And uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, go on the very first uh, icon uh, and click uh, on uh, the, the icon itself. And uh, on the top, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, the craft uh, pop-up uh, open or popover open and uh, basically what we can do over here is we can either create a new prototype or if you already have uh, some prototypes in your Envision account you can select them from the drop down. In this case since we have uh, none we're gonna create a brand new prototype. Now let's name the prototype as test and uh, we're gonna select the device which in this case uh, it's a desktop and we're gonna select this uh, very first desktop web. However, there are many other options such as iPad, Android, uh, different iPhones and uh, even Apple Watches. Um, but in this case, we're gonna select desktop because that's the size of the project we're working on and we're gonna click on publish. Now, as you can see, this uh, um, it's basically uploading it uh, and uh, it's uh, giving a live demo, uh, a live update. And um, yeah, we're basically already synced. So as you can see, it's very quick and efficient. And uh, if we go back here and we refresh our page, now we have a new project, which is this uh, new test project. And we can click on uh, view prototype in order to see the uh, project itself. And um, in this case, since we selected only three screens in Sketch, uh, we only have uh, these three synced. However, you can select all of them and uh, all of these screens will be synced. Now, if you want to go and uh, see the details of a screen, you can simply click on View Screen. And uh, as you can see, uh, we're just gonna skip this for now. As you can see, you can uh, view the entire screen and uh, if you want to go back to the general view you can simply go on the very bottom left uh, uh, breadcrumb and click on uh, test if you want to go on the project and uh, a great feature about Invision is the, the ability to add sections so by adding a section uh, you simply uh, can click uh, uh, on this uh, call to action which is click here to add a section and usually it appears above uh, the screens so sections uh, can be really uh, really important and uh, let's just name one over here section one and uh, as you can see you're, you're not only you're going to see the name of the section but also the number of screens in that section and uh, this is crucial because uh, in, there are some occasions uh, or actually <laughs> there are gonna be multiple occasions in which you're gonna work on large projects with hundreds of screens like in my case and sections can really be helpful to tackle that. Now this is it for this uh, overview. Um, I'm just gonna uh, also uh, remind you of this option right here which uh, allows you to make the screens smaller or bigger and you can also change the view. So by changing the by clicking on uh, this uh, um, these lines, uh, these hamburgers menus, um, you can see more details and a different display view of the screens. And um, this is it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna explore some more advanced uh, features of uh, the single screens.